election of Sheriff Oboroweri as the elected governor of Delta State. This comes as the Supreme Court dismissed the appeal filed by the APC and its governorship candidate, Obi Omagege, challenging the election of Sheriff Oboroweri as governor of Delta State. The court also dismissed the appeals filed by the SDP and Labour Party. Delivering the judgment, a five-member panel led by Justice John Okoro held that the appellants were unable to discharge the burden of proof placed on them by law in dismissing the Liberal Party's appeal. Justice Owani Abaji, who prepared and read the late judgment, held that the appeal lacks merit. Also, the Supreme Court has affirmed the election of Dakwa Biodun as governor of Ogun State. The court dismissed the appeal filed by the PDP and its candidate, Adebutola Dipupo, challenging the election of Dakwa Biodun as governor of the state. In another judgment, the Supreme Court upheld the election of Abdullah Sule as duly elected governor of Nasarawa State. The Apex Court dismissed the appeal of the People's Democratic Party's governorship candidate, David Umbugadu, against the election of Governor Abdullah Sule of Nasarawa. The panel of justices in a unanimous decision dismissed it for lack of merit and no cost was awarded. On 2nd October, the election petition tribunal in Lafia nullified Governor Sule's victory and declared David Umbugadu as winner of the poll. Uh, let's get some reaction from Delta and Ogun State, where Kazim Olowe and um, Ikena Amechi are standing by. Uh, let's begin in Delta. Ikena, what's the mood right now in Asaba following um, the Supreme Court judgment? All right, the mood here is a uh, joyous mood of um, people celebrating, especially the supporters of the People's Democratic Party. It's a long huddle of um, you know, court cases. It started in May last year when the governor actually won the PDP primaries and it was taken to court. Uh, up to the time that you know he did the election in, in May, in May 2000 and in 2022 when he won the primaries, up to yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, March when he won the election in the state, and of course uh, winning uh, almost a uh, 21 state, 21 local government of the 25, and then he was taken to court upon the tribunal, went through the process of the tribunal, the appeal, and now the Supreme Court. And uh, you know it has been it has been victory all the way, and the governor definitely will be reacting to that. And I hope that uh, definitely with the court case over, he will definitely rest. But it has been a joyous mood in Delta State, all across Delta. Uh, people are celebrating, taking to the street, especially supporters of the People's Democratic Party, taking to the street to celebrate the victory of the man who have who have who they have come to like because of some of his policies, and of course his. Um, uh, some of his uh, achievements so far um, this last seven months that he has been on the saddle as the governor of Delta State. And of course, you know that uh, he started for the first time uh, starting uh, um, uh, awarding a three, uh, a three flyovers at a go in uh, Wari to ensure that uh, Wari, the oil city, gets an, a facelift. So it's been a joyous, you know, celebration across the street, across the place. And of course, we are waiting, everybody's awaiting the governor. He's soon to land at the airport in Asaba here. And it will be another joyous celebration when he, he touched down, the plane touched down uh, to come and celebrate his victory here in Governor House. Um, We're looking forward to that victory speech as soon as it touches down. It can make it live for us in Asaba. Now let's turn to a 